Hey there! Welcome back to the Noctis on YouTube! These ships are amazing. Some can flip, withstand intense storms, carry large offshore drilling equipment to sea, and perform other spectacular functions. These ships are not just tools that float and travel across water, connecting one land to another. Here are some ships that changed how we think about what boats are really for. The U.S. Navy's research office has a very unique oceanographic tool. It's called FLIP, the Floating Instrument Platform, which was built and developed by the MPL Marine Physical Laboratory at the Scripps Institution of Oceanography, University of California. Actually, calling FLIP a ship isn't quite accurate. Even though researchers stay on it for weeks at a time when conducting scientific studies in the open sea, Rather than a ship, FLIP resembles a special extra-large buoy. The most unusual thing about FLIP is that it can actually flip or invert. FLIP is 108 meters long with a small front section and a lengthy hollow ballast at the end. When its tanks are filled with air, FLIP can float in a horizontal position. But when filled with seawater, the 300-foot bottom section of FLIP submerges under the water and the lighter end rises up. When inverted, most of its buoyancy relies on the depth of the surface waves, which is why FLIP can remain stable, even in large waves. At the end of a mission, Pressurized air is pumped into the ballast tanks filled with water and the vessel returns to its horizontal position, ready to be moved to a new location. During the process of changing to a horizontal position, everyone stands on the outer deck. As flip inverts, the deck slowly becomes a bulkhead and bulkheads become decks. Most rooms on flip have two doors, one for use when horizontal and the other for when flip is vertical. Some of Flip's furniture is built to rotate to a new position as it flips. Other equipment needs to be opened and moved during the position change process. Some items, like the kitchen table and bathroom sinks, are built twice, so they're always in the right position regardless of orientation. The entire repositioning process takes 28 minutes. When Flip stands vertically, it towers more than five stories high. FLIP was created in 1962 by two Scripps scientists, Drs. Fred Fisher and Fred Spies. Both worked at sea to research underwater sound waves. Because it's challenging to study atop a ship, they designed FLIP with its unique characteristic of being stable even in heavy waves. FLIP was then used to study wave heights, acoustic signals, water temperature and density, and for meteorological data collection. Since Doctors Fisher and Spice completed their initial tests, many other crucial pieces of data have been gathered using FLIP. How water circulates, how storm waves form, how seismic waves move, how heat is exchanged between the sea and the atmosphere, and the sounds made underwater by marine animals are just a few of the remarkable research findings obtained using the incredible flip. Cruise ships are not immune to damage and sometimes require a lift, and the only ships that can transport such large vessels are the Boca Vanguard and its siblings, making them the world's largest ferries or transporters. Boca Vanguard is a heavy lift ship operated by the Dutch company Boscalis. Boscalis operates the world's largest fleet of specialized semi-submersible heavy transport vessels, SSGTVs. What does this semi-submersible ship typically transport? HTVs are specialized vessels used for certain offshore tasks, such as transporting offshore drilling rigs, oil production platforms, floating production, storage and offloading units, and other extraordinarily heavy cargoes. Its transport vessels, including the Boca Vanguard, are designed with good stability in line with maritime characteristics. 
Their size also qualifies these transport ships, including Boca Vanguard, as the largest ferries or transporters in the world. Boca Vanguard is Boscalis' latest and most advanced semi-submersible transport ship. Uniquely, it's designed without a bow, having both rear and front sections, meaning it can accommodate from both the front and rear ends. Boca Vanguard was previously named Dockwise Vanguard. The vessel has a flat deck measuring 70 by 275 meters, meaning it can carry cargoes longer and wider than its deck. Being a semi-submersible type, the Boca Vanguard can carry ships or other cargoes above the water as part of its body submerges. Its deck can be submerged up to 16 meters and can carry cargoes weighing up to 110,000 tons. Boca Vanguard itself has a deadweight capacity of 117,000 tons, making it the largest transporter in the world. Boscalis currently operates 11 such transport vessels at sea. Boscalis stands as a global leader in heavy marine transport. Seven of its fleet have a weight exceeding 50,000 tons. Lockheed Martin constructed the Sea Shadow during the Cold War as a secret test vessel for the US Navy conducting covert operations in the waters off Southern California from 1985 to 1993. Their aim was to see if naval vessels could employ stealth technology similar to what the F-117 Nighthawk aircraft utilized. Sea Shadow's design mirrored that of semi-submersibles commonly used in offshore oil drilling, allowing it to minimize ship noise near the sea surface. The ship was also less affected by waves, maintaining stability even in the roughest storms. Additionally, its unconventional shape, comprising flat surfaces set at 45 degree angles and a radar absorbing ferret iron coating on the exterior, confirmed that the sea shadow was indeed undetectable. The Alvin DSV-2 made its debut in 1964 as the first manned deep-sea submersible and has been continuously upgraded over the last half-century. It has completed over 4,600 dives, including visiting the Titanic wreckage and investigating the effects of the 2010 Deepwater Horizon oil spill. At 23 feet long, this 12-meter sub features a titanium pressure hull, originally made of steel, that can hold three people and is robust enough to reach depths of nearly 21,000 feet, up from a previous maximum of 15,000 feet. Alvin is equipped with two robotic arms capable of manipulating objects, high-intensity LED lights that illuminate the deep sea and a basket that can carry up to 400 pounds of seafloor samples back to its mothership, the research vessel Atlantis. With its ability to drill up to 23,000 meters below the sea, Chikyu acts as scientists' hands in identifying and understanding global and environmental changes. This 57000 gross ton vessel was launched in 2005. Chikyu can install monitoring equipment in Earth's seismogenic zones to provide early earthquake warnings. It also has the potential to drill through the Earth's crust and explore its mantle. Here, scientists can study magmatic convection or the slow movement of lava deep within the Earth. To ensure a stable drilling platform, Chikyu relies on GPS position data and computer-controlled azimuth thrusters, making the ship's propellers easily maneuverable. The GPS system informs the crew about how much the ship might move based on wind, waves and currents. They then adjust the thrusters to counteract that movement.
The idea behind the Wave Glider is to find an affordable way to gather environmental data in conditions too hazardous for humans. This unmanned ocean drone series was developed by the California startup Liquid Robotics. The vessel consists of two parts, a skimmer that floats on the surface, similar to a surfboard, fitted with solar panels for power. Additional energy is provided by underwater wings connected to the skimmer by a 22-foot-long tether. The wave glider floats, its wings following the sea's movements, tilting as waves lift the skimmer and rotating downward on descending waves. This motion propels the skimmer forward, ideal for rough sea conditions. The wave glider can be customized with up to 70 different sensors to collect data, including acoustic sensors and mapping instruments. This information is then remotely conveyed through a cloud-based operating system named Regulus. This Russian stealth submarine poses a major challenge for US and UK submarines in terms of speed and stealth. The nuclear attack submarine SSGN Severodvinsk is nicknamed the Beast from Beneath. Though the first ship was scheduled to be finished in 1998, it only officially entered service 13 years later. At 390 feet long, SSGN Severodvinsk can dive up to 2,000 meters and travel at a relatively fast 35 to 40 miles per hour, surpassing anti-submarine weapon speeds. It has two nuclear power generators on board, and its hull is coated with sound-absorbing material to avoid detection. The ship also carries supersonic cruise missiles and versatile homing torpedoes. Though still in the prototype stage, the Sea Orbiter will be the world's first non-stop exploration vessel, allowing scientists to spend months at sea searching for new life forms. Marine architect Jacques Rougeri conceived the idea for this floating laboratory over a decade ago. This structure, nearly 200 meters in length and weighing 1,000 tons, will be powered by wind and solar energy. It's built from recycled aluminum known as Cialium, designed for the harsh marine environment. Inside, it will feature both research labs and pressurized hyperbaric spaces, ensuring that occupants don't suffer from deep sea decompression. There will also be smaller submarines for individual exploration and drones capable of diving up to 20,000 feet. That wraps up today's video. Don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe for more awesome videos. Catch you in the next one.